I'm Bill Carlton. This is Texas Metal Loud and Lifted. Car Centered Reality TV has us used to seeing Mopars and Hot Rods everywhere. That's why it's such a fresh breath of air to see Texas Metal taking the reins of the truck customization industry on the small screen. Using the art of metal fabrication and showcasing the creativity and skills of extensive metalwork staff, there isn't any doubt that Texas Metal is the show motorheads and big car likers had been waiting for when the show premiered in 2017. That being said, it hasn't been an easy road for the show and its stars, especially considering how hard it is to maintain relevancy in the ever-changing industry of reality TV. Nonetheless, could these issues have led to the cancellation of Texas Metal? Or is there still a lot more to see of the show on screen? Stay here to discover it. Every time a show takes too long to get renewed, fans inevitably start worrying about whether a cancellation is in the works. Though Texas Metal was suspected to have had such a sad fate, the truth is that the show not only hasn't been canceled, but is also expected to premiere more seasons in the near future. By March 2023, Texas Metal had successfully aired its sixth season finale. This latest six-episode-long season was shorter than the previous one, which aired 12 episodes in a twice-a-month schedule from January to June 2022. While it's unclear what has motivated this unstable episodic structure, fans might be happy to know that there are no signs of a possible cancellation of the show. In fact, in 2023, Texas Metal premiered its first spin-off, Loud and Lift, which steps a little aside from Bill Carlton's business extensive metalworks to focus on other small Houston-based businesses which also want to make themselves a name in the local truck customization industry by competing against each other. All in all, everything seems to be going great for Bill Carlton in the show, which launched his business to international fame. Nonetheless, even if Texas Metal were to end anytime soon, there's no doubt that the show's left a more than a good impression on all of us with even a slight interest in the automotive industry. One big change noticed by fans during the sixth season of Texas Metal was the absence of Tim Timmy Donaldson and John Villarreal Vega, two longtime stars of the series. It didn't take fans too long to solve the mystery of whatever happened to both men, as in September 2022, Timmy had already announced that he'd started a new business with John as his business partner. He and I have been trying to run the company after work, but not enough hours in the day resulted in needing to make a big change," he wrote on Instagram, referencing his leaving from extensive metalworks. Regarding John, he also expressed his excitement on his Instagram over opening Timmy John's machine and fabrication, confirming as well that he decided to focus on the new business, leaving his job as a fabricator for Bill Carlton, for whom he had worked for more than 10 years. While the news of both men's resignation from extensive metalworks and official exit from Texas Metal altogether caused mixed emotions in the show's fanbase, that hasn't stopped their business from growing. As seen on Timmy John's machine and fabrication social media accounts, the business has gained almost 3,500 followers and works on many projects, starting from their usual truck customizations to small but outstanding metal craft made accessories. The name Heath Moore surely sounds familiar to those who've been following Texas Metal from the start. As the show's original upholstery expert, Heath was known for his high-quality work, combining creativity and a daring attitude while designing the truck's interiors, which became fan favorites during the earliest seasons. However, Heath was nowhere to be found after the show's fourth season and the next ones, making it clear that he'd abandoned Texas Metal for good. Although Heath hasn't explained the reasons for his exit until this day, it's suspected that his disappearance from the show was caused by a very tough personal situation he went through in early 2021. As he informed his followers back then, he was diagnosed with COVID-19 and had a rough time away from his family. Besides wondering if the virus would kill you in your sleep, not being able to touch them was the hardest part. Today is going to be great. 
He wrote on an Instagram post announcing that he'd finally tested negative for the virus in March of that year. Nowadays, Heath is focused on Heath Moore Interiors, his upholstery business work, which has gained considerable popularity, having over 20,000 followers on Instagram and 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Despite staying away from the usual dramatic touches that reality TV is known for, Texas Metal hasn't escaped real-life controversy altogether. Those who watched the show from the start surely remember its very first episode entitled Low Down and Dually. Aired in November 2017, it centered around extensive metalworks, as the staff worked to not only customize a 2017 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter and turn it into a cool and sharp-looking piece of art, but also to ease its use to owner Dave Shade, who hadn't been behind a car's wheel in over 15 years due to a disability. Dave was moved to tears after seeing his renewed van, and Bill Carlton was as happy as ever, but that was sadly not the end of the story between the men. As read on online court records, in 2020, Dave sued extensive metalworks for debt collection. While the lock on court documents makes it hard to know the details behind the case, the legal battle has been ongoing for years and is nowadays pending trial. Despite rising to fame through the screen of motor trends, Texas Metal, extensive metalworks, was already known in the automotive customization industry long before the show's premiere in 2017. Founded in 1994, extensive metalworks is the result of both Bill Carlton and his parents' efforts and imagination. As he recalled in the show, Everything started with his father setting up a small car shop in the family's backyard, taking the first step into what Bill describes as the American dream. Having the house on the property, the shop in the back, just a perfect scenario for what he envisioned, he said. As years passed, Bill learned his father's craft and joined the business sooner rather than later, adding expansions and machinery to it without a concrete plan, just for the joy of making his parents' dream come true. As extensive metalworks gained local fame, Bill and his staff's works gained features in important platforms such as Hot Rod Magazine, along with exhibition spots at the annual Specialty Equipment Market Association events, eventually becoming famous enough to star in a TV show. Overall, Bill Carlton has walked a long way to make his business not only a local sensation, but to expand its recognition around the world through Texas Metal. Despite losing a couple of cast members and staff along the way, and attracting some controversy as well, it's clear that Texas Metal still has much to give to its audience. Here, this is amazing, man, amazing. Amazing, right? This is the best MG I've ever seen. You're not acting right now. No, right? I'm floored. I'm floored. I'm not that good. <laughs> you see my stuff. I'm not that good. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on social media or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you back tomorrow.